Huge welcome to series three from the Chessback Academy. I'm Jarl and I'll be taking you through a new series of toolbox talks, looking at some of the most used items on a cleaning operative's car, how they should be used correctly, and some key statistics and tips to help improve the cleanliness in your facility. So with that in mind, let's get to it. But firstly, let's hit the intro. So let's start with what color-coded cleaning is and why we use it. The basic thinking behind color-coded cleaning is that the, you, you use colors to segregate the different types of areas you have to clean. So washrooms, kitchens, general areas and clinical requirements. And you then have color-coded cleaning equipment that only gets used in that one area type. So you might be asking what equipment should be color-coded? Well, a common sense answer is whatever equipment that you can easily segment into specific colour areas. However, you should at least colour code the following. Mops and buckets, cloths, dustpan and brushes, and trigger spray bottles. Some companies would, would colour code different gloves with the various environments, but this is up to you depending on the risk levels within the facility you're cleaning. Next, I thought we would cover why we have colour coding in our facilities, and what colour represents each area. Colour coding is crucial for a number of reasons, but in the, the main reason behind the system is to ensure that there is no cross-contamination between areas. For example, if you were to clean a toilet and then move to cleaning a table, you're going to increase the likelihood that bacteria from the toilet will find its way to the table, which would, could be a table that people are eating food at, and that's just disgusting. So to ensure that there is no cross-contamination between any areas within your facility, you need to make sure that there is a set of the necessary equipment dedicated for each area. What colours should you use? Well, cleaning equipment is already available in four specific colours, which are linked to the four different areas and which are now shown on the screen. Let's start with red. Any item of cleaning equipment that is colour-coded red means that it is for use in the washroom only. This will cover everything within a washroom, working from the cleanest areas first through to the dirtiest. For example, if you were using a red cloth in a washroom, you don't want to spread the bacteria from the toilet to the basins, so you would start by cleaning the basins and any counter area or vanity units around the basins, and then move to the toilets last, because they are essentially one of the dirtiest parts of a washroom. Next is the green, which is, um, would be for catering areas. Kitchens, bars, etc. This would be used for all work surfaces, high touch points and appliances within the room. And then there is the blue, which is for general cleaning, so, such as corridors, reception areas, it could be offices or classrooms. Um, and this covers high touch points and floor areas. Lastly is yellow. This isn't as common in a lot of facilities, but falls under the clinical category, which generally includes biohazard areas. This would be used for cleaning up sick or areas where needles have been or where bodily fluids or blood might be. White can be added as a site-specific colour coding alternative, and the colour range can further be extended with the use of striped cloths, but it is key to stick to these colours that are on the screen as a priority for colours. Lastly, it's important to make sure that your staff are trained to know this colour code off by heart. The best way to do it is to give active visual training with the kit and have a clearly marked poster up at eye level in the cleaning cupboard. And there is one golden rule that every operative should remember. That is to always work from the cleanest surface towards the dirtiest surface. This greatly reduces the risk of cross-contamination within the specific area you're cleaning. And to help you with the visual colour coding poster, we have given you a free downloadable colour code chart, as well as some simple instructions to help you with what info needs to be included to link it with your facility. The poster is downloadable on the link in the comments or description of this video. And if you need anything else from us, please do not hesitate to ask. We're always here to help. And remember, you don't have to be a customer to make use of Chesspack's 15 years worth of advice. Check out what other videos we have in the Academy. And if you found this useful, give it a like, subscribe, and send it to one person.
that you think this will benefit. That way, we can help spread the correct cleaning standards far and wide. Thank you and take care.